This video is not to show you how to change a strut for bearing, but how to separate the strut slash shocker from the steering knuckle. No brute force or sledgehammers, just a few brains and TLC. This demonstration is with the strut shown off the car to make it as clear and simple as possible. Remove the bolt from its normal position then screw it into the threaded lug from the opposite direction. Place a thin piece of stainless steel between the tab on the strut slash shocker and the unthreaded steering knuckle lug. Screw the bolt in until it strikes the stainless steel. Then turn the bolt another one full turn, shown here in two half turns. Place a drill, one that just fits, into the gap as shown. Remove the bolt, then separate the shocker from the knuckle. If your roads are subject to ice, mine are not, then maybe some WD-40 and a few taps with an eight ounce hammer, not a sledgehammer, may assist separation. After the old or new shocker is placed into the knuckle, maybe with a coating of grease to assist the next removal, reinsert the bolt and stainless steel. Turn the bolt another turn until the drill is released and completely remove the bolt and stainless steel once again. Reinstall the bolt into its correct position, torque it up and then continue with whatever you are doing. Now you may have asked how many turns it would take to break the knuckle. I've asked myself the same question, so let's find out. I found another drill bit that just fits into the gap of the naked knuckle. After three and a half full turns, there is no apparent damage, as shown here. After three and a half turns, the rest gap opened approximately five to ten thou. Remember, it only took one turn to release the shocker. Now, I'm not an engineer, but that's how I've done my cast.